We laughed as we played with the mud at the side of the stream, staring in visible bowls of clay pies molded in makeshift containers and whisking sticky cakes with scoopfuls of sparkling water. The sun was our oven, and we feasted together with dirty hands that cracked and flaked as they clasped, our chatter filled with the earthy promises of a friendship that would not end. We built towering castles in the sand, working in unison. As one, we filled our buckets, my hand carefully tipping the laden mould, yours tapping the turrets free. We dug the moat together, deep and wide, carrying vessel after vessel of splashing salty water to deter the intruders, marking our territory with seashell boundaries. Our coloured paper flags flying, we sat on our haunches, content with our work, sharing gritty jam sandwiches and warm orange squash, until the tide turned and washed all that had been away. and water without 
lightly, shoveling the mixture into regimented rows of uniform molds. Standing the bricks to bake in the wearying heat of rays that burned and blistered. I watched from the shadows on the wrong side as you built your barricade with foundations too deep to be swayed by the elements. Block closely aligned. Mortared with hatred. and guarded by soldiers with guns. Your colorful flags were deterrent, not decoration. And you marked your territory with flags, a deterrent, not decoration and coil spikes of electric wire and shells designed to blow the legs of those who approached. Your patrols smoothed strips of sand with brooms, the better to show the footprints of those that approached. Mopping their brows under the searing heat that scorches both your side and mine. The wind whipped loosened hot dust, pushing my eyes to jam some with red. Our thirst too was shared. And I think of the stream where we scooped clear water with our cupped hands, now gone from my sight. Your propaganda machines wave their semantics to soften their aggression. War? There is no war. They had built a Protection Boulevard. A. What? A. Benign barrier. A. Ben. A casual. Barrier. They snarled and joked with snipers at the ready. Good fences make good neighbors. Then and fall, no need to fall. But this is no neat line of white painted pickets, trimmed with pink hollyhocks and yellow-eyed pansies, where rosy-cheeked matrons lean into gossip or balance borrowed cups of sugar on their ample bosoms. The wall is a wall. Great gray slabs of concrete construction rising eight meters from the ground and packed so tightly that it does not permit a thread of sunlight to creep through the cracks. It is a wall with nerve. A concrete 
conviction. This wall makes no pretenses to grace or sophistication. It is cold and rude and hard and stone. A dog before that I won. Your Anna present a wall and tak, such a wall. Tak, wyszło to, że ja mam teć. Pewny numer. Wam zachwać ze. W tej zmętnej kretochwili stoi napisane, że ja, nie jaki leszek, mam przedstawić ścianę. I co w lejku mam hep of ur? A jestem Heidi Victoria, lejki mur. Co za skieniosio ty tym, że ora? Jestem mi się ola. Call new idle creatures. Get you home. Is this the holiday? What? No, you're not being mechanical. You have to walk upon a laboring day. Where for each other? You blocks. You stones. You worse than the senseless things. <laughs> you hard hearts. You cruel men of Rome. Knew you not from peak? Many a time and off you climbed up the walls and battlements. To towers and windows, <laughs> to chimney tops. Your infants in your arms. And they have set a livelong expectation to see great Pompey pass the streets of Rome. And do you now put on your best attire? And do you now call out a holiday? And do you now strew flowers in his way that comes over triumph over Pompey's blood? Be gone. Run to your houses. Fall upon your knees. Pray to the gods to intermit the plague that need must light on this ingratitude. We'll break our walls, rather than they shall pull us up. Our gates, which yet seem shut, they'll open of themselves. How yet resolves the governor of the town? Our best way is to give yourselves. For like two men, proud of destruction, defy us to our worst. What is to me when you yourselves are cause? If your pure maidens fall into the hands of hot and forcing violation, what rank can hold the licentious wickedness when down the hill he holds his fierce career? Then in a moment look to see, blind, the bloody soldier with foul hand, defied the locks of her shrill shrieking daughters, the fathers taken by their silver beards and the most reverent heads dashed through the walls. Your naked infants, spitted upon pikes, while their mad mothers, with their house confused, do break the clouds. What say you? Will you yield and this avoid? Guilty in defense. 
he thus destroyed her. They came with parents. Te pięćset dzieci wraz z rodzicami. Zniszczyli im życie, rozdzielając na granicy. I wiecie co? To nie kojoty je sprowadziły. Ich rodzice byli z nimi. Zostali oddzieleni od rodziców. Zrobili z nas pośniewisko, a duch narodu umiera. Parents, kids were ripped from the earth and separated. A teraz nie mogą znaleźć ponad pięćset par tych rodziców. And these kids are alone. Nowhere to go. To kryminał. Destroyed. Dashed to the walls. Ripped from their heart. Your infants in your art. Your infants. How sometimes nature will betray its folly, its tenderness, and make itself a pastime to harder bosoms. My honest friend, will you take eggs for money? Hell no, boy. At my request, he would not. The Hermione, my dearest, thou hast never spoken to better purpose. Never. Never but once. <laughs> what have I twice said, Will? <laughs> what was than before? Mm. Our praises are our wages. You may write with one soft kiss. A thousand furlongs air. The spell will be an acre. Why, look you know, have I spoke to the purpose twice? Mm -hmm. For one, for ever and a royal husband. The other, for some way of a friend. Too hot, too hot. A mingling friendship's war is mingling blood. I, I, I have tremor cordis on me, my, my heart dances, but, but not for joy, and not joy. In palms and pinching fingers as now they are, and making practice smiles as in the looking glass, and then to sigh as turn the lot of the dear. Oh, that is entertainment my bosom likes not, nor my brows. Affection, thy intention stabs the center. Thou dost make things not possible never before heard. Communicatest with dreams. How can this be? Are you not, my lord? No, in good earnest. How nature betrays its folly, its tenderness, and makes itself a pastime to hold her bosom. <laughs> Hermione, my dearest, how thou lovest my, myself, making my brothers welcome. Let what is dear in Sicily be cheap. If you would seek us, we are yours in garden. <laughs> so your own beds dispose you. You'll be found, be you beneath the sky. Gone already, in thick, knee deep, or oh, head and air of thought one. There have been, or I am much deceived, cockles ere now. Who've held their wife by the arm, and little know they've been sluiced in his absence, and his pond fish by his next neighbour, by Sir Smile, his neighbour. Should all men despair that have revolted wives, a tenth of mankind should hang themselves. Visit for it, there's none. Many thousands on have the disease and feel it not. What, Camillo there? I, my good lord. But Camilla, this great sir will yet stay longer. He would not stay at your petitions, made his business more material. Didst perceive it? They are with me now, rounding a whispering. Cecilia is a soul forth. Cecilia is a soul forth. Have thou not seen Camilla, but that's passed out. You have, or your eyeglass is thicker than a cockle's horn, or heard. But to a vision so apparent rumour cannot be neat, or, or, or thought. For cogitation, 
temptation resides not in the man that does not think my life is slippery. If thou wilt confess, say my wife's a hobby horse. Deserves a name, has a rank as any flight such that puts two before her trough plight. Say it and justify it. You never spoke what did become you less than this. <laughs> it's whispering nothing. It's leaning cheek to cheek, meeting noses, kissing with inside lip, stopping the career of laughter with a sigh. Is this nothing? <laughs> Why? Then the, the world and all the city is nothing. The covering sky is nothing. The here is nothing. My life is nothing. But nothing, nothing, nothing in this be nothing. Make that thy question and go right. Just think I am so muddy, so unsettled to appoint myself in this vexation to give scandal to the prince of the blood. My son, who I do think is mine and love is mine, could I do this? Could man so blench? Ah! I can't breathe. leaving your ears ringing like a steeple on a Sunday morning. But there is no God to this violent imagination. No cold proportion. Heaven beneath the blinding, burning, clashing. There is a moment after it goes on. Yeah. 
option when they want to become so. It triggers something, something primal, something animal. A searing burst of heat and pain along your arms tells you that you have been hit. You can't see it or feel it. It all unfolded too quickly for your brain to keep up with. But looking down to your arm, you can see a triple of red. And the purple and black burn mark is flowing from it. A shape of the shrapnel imprinted on your skin like some sort of state sanctioned perfume. This marks means we own your body and have valued it as not worth preserving. On ma 5 lat i mieszka ze swoją matką i swoim ojcem w małym miasteczku na Islandii. Co znaczy, dlaczego on mówi teraz po islandzku? 
This explains why he's speaking Icelandic. Vi er leikskóla og ég er fimm ára og ég er að rífast við stelpur sem ég ekki er mér og þá er hérna fóstran eða leikskólakennari kemur upp á okkur og hún segir Vilja þið til að hætta þessum ástarskap? Ok, I'll continue in English, it's easier. Um, so, I'm in kindergarten, I'm five and I'm having this argument with a girl uh, in, in the kindergarten my age and uh, the nanny, or oh, sorry, the preschool teacher comes up to us and she says you two, stop this stupidity! And then in the evening, my dad is beating up my mom, and <coughs> I come out of my room, and I still remember my posture, I try to make myself as big as I could, and this is what I say, I say, You two, stop this stupidity! <laughs> and it all just stopped. But then, later when my dad was beating up my mom, I come out of my room, and when I see what's happening, I just, I just freak out, I just, I just panic, and I just start screaming, Go away! And I run into my mom's arms and I just keep screaming this, go away, go away, go away, dad! And dad starts to leave. But when he starts to leave, I start screaming, dad, don't go, don't go, dad, don't go! But he left. And he never came back. So this tendency of mine to explode has been pretty obvious ever since I was a little boy. I remember this one time where they had to evacuate the classroom because I was going to kill one of the girls. I still, still remember the teacher's face. He was utterly terrified. Of course I wasn't going to kill her, you know, but I wanted to show off my power, you know. Don't you ever fuck with me! But this thing, to, to, to show off your power, is really just a substitution for crying, you know. I'm telling you when the domestic violence takes place in my home, we don't see it, we just hear it. We're sitting in the stairs, me and my brother Joe. Mom's downstairs, screaming for help. And I really wanted to go downstairs and help her. But my older brother Joe, he just held me back. He knew that we would just be thrown into the stone wall if we went down there. I mean, I mean, there was a dinosaur in my living room. When I turned into this dinosaur, I saw my dad this one time. I racked my home time and time again. These outbursts, they always happen in periods in my life when I feel insecure and vulnerable. You know. And <coughs> Bob the Builder is what I call this alter ego of mine. And it's, just, it's just like something just clicks in my head. I can still remember the very sound of that click. And when Bob has arrived, I have all the rights in the world to be violent. I see injustice everywhere! Injustice that I am entitled to respond to! Ah, uh, gentlemen, friends, thank you for your praise. I know you think you dine with me today and have prepared great store of wedding cheer, but so it is my haste of call me hands, and therefore here I must take my leave. Is it possible you will await tonight? Uh, I must await today before the night comes. 
But make it no wonder, if you knew my business, you wouldn't treat me rather golden as day. And honest company, I think you all will be helping me give away myself to this patient, sweet, virtuous wife. Go dine with my father, drink a health to me, for I must hence. And, and farewell to you all. Let us entreat you stay till after dinner. It may not be. Let me entreat you. Or it cannot be. Let me entreat you. I am content. Are you content to stay? I am content. You shall entreat me stay, but yet not stay and treat me how you can. Nay then, do what thou canst. I will not go today. No, no, do not let the lie please myself. The door is open, sir, the lies your way. For me, I'll not be gone till I please myself. Kate, content thee. Prithee, be not angry. I will be angry. What hast thou to do? I see a woman may be made a fool if she had not a spirit to resist. Oh, they shall go forward at thy command, Kate. No, obey the bride. You will attend on her. Be mad, be merry. Go hang yourselves. And for my bonny Kate, she must have been. Night? Look not big. No stare, no stare. No threats. I shall be master of what, what is my own. She is my goods. She is my chattels. She is my house, my house of stuff. My field, my barn, my horse, my ox, my ass, my anything. And here she stands. Touch her, whoever dares, and I'll take my action on the proudest heat that stops my way in patching Of all the matters, Never was delighted. Don't what is your opinion of your sister? That they not herself. She smedly made it. I warrant him, but you sure is cases. <laughs> Successfully. The 
make her come and know her keep her school last night she slept not nor tonight she shall not that's with the meat so when the Zabet fault I found about the making of the bed I and amid this hurry I intend that all is done in reverent care of her this is a way to kill a wife with kindness the mama wrongs the more his spite appears. That which spites me more than all these wants is that he does it in the name of perfect love. As if who should say if I should eat or sleep? As if it were a deadly sickness or else present death. I'm sure, sweet Kate, this kindness merits thanks. What? Not a word? The poorest services we paid with thanks and so shall mine before you touch the meat. Well, thank you, sir. Well, sir, I trust I may have the leave to speak. My tongue will tell the anger of my heart, whilst the heart concealing it will break, and rather than it shall, I shall be free to the uttermost as I please in words. Belike you may make a puppet of me. No oh, monstrous arrogance. Go, call my men and let us straight away. Let's see, I think there is now some seven o'clock and when we may come home by dinner time. I, I dare assure you, sir, it's almost two, and it will be supper ere you return. Look, what I speak or do or think to do, you are still crossing it. I will not go today and ere I do, it shall be what o'clock I say it is. Good Lord, how bright and goodly shines the moon! <laughs> the moon? The sun! It's not moonlight now. I say it is the moon that shines so bright. I know it is the sun that shines so bright. No, by my mother's sun, and that's myself. It shall be moon, or star, or what I miss, and I will cross and cross, nothing but cross. Then be it moon or sun or what you please, and if you please to call it a, a rush candle, and henceforth I vow it shall be so for me. I say it is the moon. I know it is the moon. Nay, <sighs> then you lie. It is the blessed sun. And God be blessed, it is the blessed sun, but sun it is not what you say it is not, and, and the moon changes even as you might. Whatever you will have it named, that it is. So it shall be so for Katharina. Now let me throw a politically incorrect question at you. Is it better that my dad once beat on my mom real bad, resulting in the two of them seeking counseling, and they are a very happy couple today? I mean, they've been extremely happy for over 30 years now. Sometimes their happiness can be absolutely overwhelming, you know? <laughs> I mean, is it better that my dad once nearly killed my mom, or that my, my mom's uh, unhappiness, controlling nature would have just been left there to progress over some time, and they surely would have gotten a divorce, sold the house, and my worst nightmare of having to learn karate to fight off my mom's next, next boyfriend would have materialized. I mean, out of those two options, maybe the violence wasn't so bad. I mean, sometimes you just have to throw a bomb, you know? And if this is the bomb necessary, then... Yeah, that just really sucks, you know? Przebacz mi, Panie. Zdarza się nieraz, że chcąc łaskę zyskać, nie zawsze słowem naszą myśl tłumaczą. Wymawiam trochę grzechu, którym się, którym się brzydzę na korzyść tego, który jest mi drogi. Wszyscy jesteśmy słabi. Jeden mam tylko język. Ty, Panie, cnota Ci Twoja przywilej ten daje, że aby innych cnotę wypróbować, bierzesz na chwilę pozory występku. Wierz mi na honor. Mówię Ci, co myślę. <grym> honor. Mały ten honor, gdzie takie są myśli. Słuchaj, Angel. Odkryję, czym jesteś. Podpisz natychmiast. Bądź z całych piersi Twą przydotę Światu opowiem. A kto ci uwierzy, Izabelo? Czyste na imię, surowo jeżdżę wolna, 
moje słowa, moje znaczenie odbiorą wiarę Twoim oskarżeniem, które świat weźmie za występną po twarz. Pomnij, że kłamstwo moje w sądach ludzi od Twoich praw większy należy. Ani ognia. 
be brave. Be brave. For your captain is brave and the whole formation. It shall be in England seven half penny lost for a penny. The three hook pot shall be ten hoops. I will make felony to drink a small beer, and when I am king, I will kick you in the head. I will kick you in the head. All of you will be drinking from my hands. The shirts of all of you will be like brothers, but they will stay. I cześć mi oddali jako królowi swemu. The first thing we do, let's kill all the lawyers. Zabij wszystkich prawników! Zabij wszystkich prawników! Zabij successful. The people that you will like best are the people that are less successful than you. Because when you go to a table, you can tell them all of these wonderful stories and they will sit back and listen. Does that make sense to you? Always be around unsuccessful people because everybody will respect you. <laughs> it's always good to do things nice and complicated so that nobody can figure it out. Służę mu, aby za wszystko odpłacić. Każdy nie może być panem, a także każdy pan służby nie może mieć wiernej. Co powiem inni, którzy przybierają kształt zewnętrzny i maskę oddania, lecz serca własne chowają dla siebie. I służąc panom swym, zyski z tego ciągną piękne. A gdy w końcu podbiją płaszcz swój bogato, składają hołd sami sobie. Tak, ci mają duszę. Służę mu, służąc jedynie sobie. Kształt serca mego składam na dłoni, aby gołębice mogły je działać. Nie jestem czym jestem. Pracować ze mzitą. 
Co je můj úkol? Pochopit, co je můj životní úděl. Co je můj úkol? Žít tak, aby se pravda prostřednictvím mé vůle stala přírodním zákonem. Není jiné pravdy? Pravda je jenom jedna. Wash your hands. Umyj svoje ręce. In order to live a beautiful new life, you must first choose it. Musisz się odnaleźć i wolić. Don't worry. We will help you to choose the best truth of your life for yourself. We are your community of independent experts. Your new life is beautiful, one in which you will not have to worry anymore. You will live in truth. We are experts, back by the facts. A beautiful new life it is possible for all the people of the world. Krasny nowy život, powszechny widi na świecie. Piękne nowe życie jest możliwe dla wszystkich na świecie. We'll show you the truth. We are an authority. The Ministry of Truth. We tell you everything we know about the truth. It looks complicated, but it's quite simple. Our goal is to create a scientific community. A community free from dirt, made up of conspiracies, misinformation, and hoaxes. For us, your individual mental health it's important not to the start. Under the guidance of the Ministry of Truth, people will be free to choose what is true and what is not. And you can structure yourself according to whichever set of filters you would like to use to think through. It's perfect fascism. A beautiful new life is possible for all the people of the world.
In the meantime, let me be that I am and not seek to alter me. It is no longer worth trying to discuss. Nobody cares about the discussion anymore. Thinking it's not necessary. Thinking it's not a part of a beautiful new life. Thinking is doctrinal though to impurity. Thinking is unhygienic. Tell me, is the ground flat or flat? So I thought, I'm going to be a president. So I'm going to create and release to the world massive number of hoes of hoaxes and self-hacker detectives to find and spread the word. The truth. It's not going to cost me much. Actually, you just have to pull out one pebble and the avalanche gradually starts on its own. I will wait for a while for the misinformation to become perfectly impossible for no one, to know clearly what is meant by anything. And then I can hunt myself calmly to the murky waters. Even if someone accidentally captures something accurate, it's really be lost in the mass of delusions and nonsenses. The only possible conclusion of this operation is those who shout loudest are the one who will be heard. <laughs> and I will have done it. We get closer to the paradox and I can stick my head up my ass. Possibly. Down. Down to her and say I send thee to that. I that had nothing the pity, love, no fear. And with love that grey arts call divine, be resident in men like one another, but not in me. I myself alone. King Henry and the Prince are gone. Clarence. Your turn is next, then the rest, counting myself but bad until I be best. The truth can be silenced for long. She may be attacked, but she can be overwhelmed. Prawda czasami boli, ale nie da się jej uciszyć na długo. Może być zaatakowana, ale nie może zostać przytłoczona. We will examine the increase in the protection of the interests of the Ministry of Truth from the risk of hybrid threats, in particular related to the spread of propaganda and disinformation the promotion of extremist clusters and cyber attacks. 
the Ministry of Truth is watching with concern the increase in misinformation in the media and in particular on social networks which purposefully provoke fear and distrust in the Ministry of Truth. W związku z tym Ministerstwo Prawdy będzie wspierało wszelkie inicjatywy walki z fake newsami i innymi oszustwami. The Ministry of Truth will therefore support initiatives and will establish mechanisms to combat hoaxes, fake news and other misinformation. The Ministry of Truth examines what anyone's rights, what harms democracy, what is false and fiction, what is true, what needs to be written in support of freedom and democracy. Które strony internetowe należy kontrolować? Kto z kim się kontaktuje? Przez portale społecznościowe, maile czy telefon? Kto co czyta i kto jak myśli? The development of smart products will allow us to know better what you are doing at home. What is being said with your family members? Telefonu nie da się wyłączyć. Więc będziesz na ciągłym podsłuchu. A pozyskane informacje będą przechowywane i analizowane. Planowany w najbliższym czasie zakaz używania form, w formie fizycznej pieniędzy pozwoli na monitorowanie tego, za co zapłacisz kartą i czy ktoś nie zapłacił za ciebie. The ban on driving a car and replacing all vehicles with automatic driving will allow us, together with cameras on every street and every public and private facility, to track every moment of every person. Cóż, w sytuacji zagrożenia terroryzmem musimy się przed nim bronić. Czy ktoś tu obecny popiera terroryzm? Prawda poskytuje istotu, ale prawda powiada nas o złym umysłom je niekiedy podlejsia, a to wszystkie kłamstwa, które je można wymyślić. Preto naše ministerstvo pripravilo zákon, pomocou ktorého je možné postaviť mimo zákon kterékoľvek médium, ktoré šíri zahraniční dezinformácie a propagandu. Is it necessary to interpret historical events correctly? Because whoever controls the past, controls the future, Don't look for the truth, because you cannot know if you have it. Hear our truth, listen to our truth, love our truth, hold on to the truth, defend the truth until death. For the truth will set you free. Usłysz naszą prawdę, słuchaj naszej prawdy, kochaj naszą prawdę, trzymaj się prawdy, broń prawdy aż do śmierci. Bo prawda cię wyzwoli. Why have we always fucked each other? Because we are law society to divide into two camps. A society made up of individuals with have only one choice will always be right, will it not? Surely we just have to have one common truth and the winners are right. Right? Every according to Bill Gates, there will be almost no poor countries in the world. 
from 
our kingdom. And this, our first intent to shake all cares and businesses from our age, confirm them on younger strengths. Where we, on birth and crawl, toward death. We have this hour, a constant will to publish our daughter's several dollars, that future strife may be prevented now. Tell me, my daughters, since now we will divest us both of all, interests of territory, cares of state, which of you shall you say doth love us most? Most gracious sovereign, your majesty's most dutiful and loyal subjects, the senators and commons of Northern Ireland in Parliament assembled. Having learned of the passing of the Irish Free State Constitution Act 1922, being the Act of Parliament for the ratification of the Articles of Agreement for a Treaty between Great Britain and Ireland. Do by this humble address pray your majesty that the powers of the Parliament and the Government of the Irish Free State shall no longer extend to Northern Ireland. So young and so untender. So young, my lord, and true. Let it be so. Thy children be thy God. Here I disclaim all my paternal care, and as a stranger to my heart in me, hold thee from this forever, my sometime daughter. Łuk jest napięty. Nie wchodź w drogę strzale. In the end, we are on our own, joined at the hip to the very people who most mistrust. And in and out of love, with our would-be suitors in Britain and the Republic of Ireland. Strike 
Tyson with Howard. It was a Tyson child living in ring, isn't it? I had a woman to show him. Your mother used to him. Even before it left dry land, 
The space it left behind became a focal point, a, a literal space to be moved into. I say to all the naive and juvenile anti-Americans of this country, if there are any, I think there'll be some, I say grow up and get a grip. The US already buys one-fifth of the things that we export. And yes, of course, there are going to be difficulties. Ah, there are going to be difficulties. It is an incredible fact that we sell not one hamburger's worth of beef to the US, not one kebab's worth of lamb, and as I speak, the people of the US are still surviving without one ounce of Scottish haggis, which they continue to ban, Mr. Ambassador. I must say to the American bashers in this country, if there are any, that in doing global trade, we will be governed by the science and not by the mumbo jumbo because the potential is enormous. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool honesty is, yes. hmm? and trust. His sworn brother, very simple gentleman. I have sold all my trumpery. They threw all of my first. I said, my shop is having hollow. They brought the benediction to the buyer. By which means, I saw this person was in picture. And what I saw, <laughs> to my good deal, I remember. You had to pinch the placard. It was nothing to be at the coffins of a purse. <laughs> so that in this time of lethargy, I picked and got most of the festival purses. The old man come in with a whoop up against his daughter and the king's son. scared my chaps from the job. I could not lift a purse alive in the whole army. And as we come out, I do not wish to exaggerate our influence or our potential influence. But then, nor would I minimize the eagerness of our friends around the world to hear our independent voice once again. The opportunities, as I say, are extraordinary. Uh, tea to China, cake to France, uh, TV areas to South Korea, boomerangs to Australia. This is the moment for us to think of our past and gear up again, to recapture the spirit of our seafaring ancestors, whose exploits not only brought us riches, but something even greater than that, and that was a global perspective. There lies the port, the vessel puffs the sail, and the wind sets in the mast. To be or not to be? That, that is a question. question. I understand the business. I hear it. I see that is the time that the unjust men don't lie. If I thought there was a piece of honesty to acquaint the queen with all, I would not do I hold this more nearly to conceal it. And therein, and I constant to my profession. We human beings are clannish, tribal beings. In our creation of families and communities, that can be a beautiful thing. But our compulsion with drawing boundaries and building walls and rigorously patrolling them can get out of hand. We see it played out on stages large and small. The Capulets and the Montagues will never agree. Torn flesh and thrown stones, the tears of mothers, migrants and refugees, will not dissuade the wall builders. The walls rise and grow and multiply. They are both human and inhumane. The walls are our compulsion. The walls are our chronic disease. The problem comes when those boundary walls are so difficult, you can't hardly pass them. The problem is with the guards who say, you cannot cross this border. Because when borders are closed, 
Those on either side experience immobility and claustrophobia. And those who cross them illegally or even unwittingly suffer incalculable loss. The number of border crossings between Northern Ireland and the Republic has been reviewed for the first time since the island was partitioned in 1921. Emails between officials from the Northern Ireland Department for Infrastructure and the Department of Transport in the Republic reveal the nightmare of trying to map out all roads, paths and their tracks along the border. There was confusion about crossing where the border runs up the middle of roads or where roads are privately owned on one side and publicly maintained on the other. The border runs up along 11 roads. Frontier meets up the middle of at least three bridges and two ferry crossings. The issue of how to deal with the border has one of the major sticking points in the Brexit negotiations between the UK government and the EU. There are only 137 crossings along the entire border between the whole of the EU and all of the countries to the east of the bloc, a border which runs over 3,000 miles. The border between Ireland and Northern Ireland is just 310 miles. In one of the images between Belfast and Dublin, an official said, I'm now getting 209 border crossings in total, Hope you are too. At which point did we lose our laughter and chatter and feasting and fun and shared dreams of community? Who decided we can't or won't talk about it? Refusing to knock out the bricks democratically, allowing them to build up unspoken and dangerous. When did the things that went unsaid between us begin to build up like masonry? The wall started first in your mind. Whatever obstacles you conceived existed only because you had forgotten what we had already achieved. The clay pies and dirty fingernails, the castles in the sand were Stepping stones to negotiation, to conversations of deeper things, to a peaceability that outweighed differences, and a friendship that should have held when the rains came. But somehow, my friend of yesterday became my enemy of today. And the more you hit, the higher the wall around you got, and the more you cried in silence, the thicker it became. Northern Ireland is getting a great deal by staying in the European Union, single market, and keeping free movement. Unlike the rest of the UK, you have to have some way of checking uh, that goods that might attract a tariff uh, from the United Kingdom to Ireland, uh, pay that tariff, if there is to be a tariff. Oh, uh, well, the only place you can do that, if you don't do it at the border, is at the border in Northern Ireland. I understand the business. If I had a knife in the office, I suppose you would not suffer me. She drops booties in the room. I've come close to that location. Gold and the means to do that place my master good. Which who knows how that may come back to my last one. I will bring these two balls. These blind ones. The fourth one. To him will I present them. There may be matter in it. <laughs> Tragedies of the past have left a deep and profoundly regrettable legacy of suffering. 
We must never forget those who died or been injured in their families. But we can best honor them through a fresh start in which we firmly dedicate ourselves to. To the commitment of partnership, equality, and mutual trust as the basis of relationship within Northern Ireland, between North and South, and between these islands. We reaffirm our total and absolute commitment to exclusively democratic and peaceful means of resolving differences. We will endeavor to strive in every practical way towards reconciliation and accomplishment within the framework of democratic and agreed arrangements. Accordingly, in a spirit of concord, we strongly commend this agreement to people north and south for their approval. and fear was their fuel because they told you and the video showed you but why so angry you said you had a point but you've negated the good with your anger and divisive actions but we told you they said and we showed you they cried and we showed you before we were angry but the wall you are building is stopping you hearing us clearly bias Privilege. Institutional. History. Colonialism. Racism. And in times apparent, we don't know why they actually mean. That you blind yourself to what you could have seen. But how can you see when you are building a wall? And you've done so well. Your wall is so tall. How can they not know the theory? when they don't know what meeting you, what to expect of you. Time to raise the fall, to climb the wall, to ensure we will not, not be unseen, to ask the question, whose fear is greater? Why would you build this wall? You, you build the wall! pobladłych twarzy ich skalistych brzegów. Oby wasz związek zasiał w łonach waszych krajów ziarno sąsiedzki, chrześcijańskiej zbory. Oby już zawsze omijały wojny i słodką Francję, i Albion spokojnie. In all his plays, Shakespeare never uses the word solidarity. But he uses plenty of other words that brings people together for a shared purpose. Accord, 
a decision or arrangement between groups or people, like mind address. People sharing their opinions and ideas or interests. Unity. The state of being joined together or an agreement. People in the dance crowd support one another. The crowd in front of the gate was like that. Those standing did not push their weight, did not push back, but supported each other. To be an artist, to be a creative, is to realize that the world is full of juxtaposed moments that remind us how strange, how wonderful, how contradicted the world can be when we appreciate the borderlands for what they are rather than just the boundaries that divide. We talk of borders, interstices, corridors and edges, but in every act of creating, we say we are not afraid of walls, but march right up to them and stand upon them and offer the world something we have seen or heard on the other side. There is still time, my friend. What you reject today, you can accept tomorrow. What you accept today, you can reject tomorrow. Zanim pójdziemy dalej, słuchajcie, co powiem. Może! Wy jesteście gotowi raczej zginąć niż głodować? Tak! Pierwsza sprawa, wiecie, że największy próg ludu to Gajus Marciusz. History has taught us 
that there is no bread without freedom. What you had in mind was not only bread, butter, sausages, but also justice, democracy, true, legality, human dignity, freedom of convictions, and the repair of the republic. <laughs> December 1970 were spread by government announcement of unexpected food price increases. On December 14, demonstration broke out in the Baltic coastal cities of Gdańsk, Gdynia, Elbląg and Szczecin. In response, the authority used the army and militia to violently pacify the protests. During street clashes over the following days, the army was ordered to fire upon workers, leading to 41 dead and over 1,000 wounded. He went out that day in his favorite jacket, the leather one, in American biker style. You know, like James Dean or Elvis. When they prepared his body, they didn't cut it away, but took it off carefully. If they knew 
was a true object. There are just two poles. One and down. One on the left side of the chest. You can see the bullet poles. There were just two things in these pockets. This medallion of Virgin Mary and a small cow with blood donation needles. Giving blood is one of the greatest humanitarian acts, proof of great social solidarity. Głębokim bólem myślę o tych, którzy swoją, którzy swoją wierność i solidarności przypłacili życiem. O tych, którzy są za murami więziennymi. O tych wszystkich, którzy są obiektem prześladowań. Z bólem myślę o tych wszystkich, którymi razem przeżywamy ten trudny czas próby. What's he that wishes so? My cousin Westmoreland. No, my fair cousin. If we are not to die, we are enough to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. God's will. I pray you, wish not one man more. Wish not a man from England. Rather proclaim it, Westmoreland, from my host, that he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made, and crumbs for convoy put into his purse. We will not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. Dzisiaj jest Dzień Świętego Kryspina. Kto dziś przeżyje, a do domu wróci, górę podrośnie na dnia tego wzmiankę, podniesie głowę na imię Kryspina. Kto dziś przeżyje i dość i starości, co rok sąsiadów swoich wilije racząc, powie Świętego Dzień Jutro Kryspina. Zawinie ręka w swego pokaże rany. Z starością pamięć gaśnie. On jednak, że choćby o wszystkim zapomniał, spamięta swoje rycerskie w potrzebie tej czyny. Nasze nazwiska starym jego ustom jak familijne słowa poufał. Król Henry, Bedford, Warwick, Salisbury, Talbot, Exeter corocznie odżyją przy brzęku szklanek ich pianą szumiących. Synowi starzec pamięć te przekaże i dzień świętego Kryspina nie minie. Od dzisiejszego dnia do końca świata, by imię nasze z ust do ust nie brzmiało nas, małej, ale szczęsnej garstki braci. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, shall think themselves a curse they were not here, and hold their manhood cheap, wise any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day.
The solidarity of the shaken is built up in persecution and uncertainty. This is its front line, quiet, without fanfare or sensation. Even there, where the aspect of ruling force seeks to seize it. You have built a wall, but it is merely smoke and mirrors, an impractical expression of your hands thrown up in despair. Clay, sand, and water. We refuse to be cowed by it. We will fly Indian balloons high over the barricades to send messages to our loved ones and wait in dignity till the bulldozers come. Your aim is to divide us. Clay, sand, and water. You think your brick walls will separate us. You think your bombs and firearms will defeat us. You are so ignorant that you don't understand that my soul and your soul are old friends. You are so ignorant you don't understand that when they cut you, we bleed. You are so ignorant that you don't understand that we will never be afraid. We will never hate. And we will never be silent. Play silent water. One day they will punch holes in this wall you have made. They'll grab your broken bricks for their souvenirs. Set in pristine glass cabinets to be taken out of family gatherings. And they will recount the tales of the bombs and the guns, each embellished telling growing in its horrors. And wide-eyed children will soak up the hatred and the prejudice without understanding the complexities of the issues. We want no reminders of your wall. In the rubbled ruins of clay dust, sand and water, the ground can be leveled to begin again.
that will come when we are in shared space again. I do not say that it will be easy, but the intersection of acceptance, forgiveness, and reconciliation will never come through a wall lined with the armory of fear and war. Until then, I will sit quietly in the shadow of your wall, unintimidated and unafraid, waiting in hope for the day when we will feast again together on warm sand dunes, not on jam pies and clay pies, but on cups raised in peace under a shared sun. For it is that hope that frames my survival.
just have I wall my part discharged so and being done, thus wall away the gold. <laughs>